Bonjour. Je, je, veux, je veux dire quelque chose sur le commentaire de la Première ministre ce matin. I'd like to say a few remarks about the Prime Minister's comments about uh, the defensive briefing. Uh, two years ago, in June of 2021, I received a briefing from CSIS about foreign interference threat activities from authoritarian states. Uh, this briefing was general in nature and did not contain any specific threats concerning a person in Canada, Mr. Wei Zhou, that was targeting me and my family. Um, I welcome these briefings. I encourage CSIS to continue these briefings. I think briefing members of parliament on the general nature of foreign interference threat activities is incredibly important in this era in which we live where authoritarian states are targeting democracies. It's not new that the PRC is targeting family in the PRC. Uh, for years, we've been hearing reports from Canadians across the country that the PRC is targeting individuals uh, in the PRC, targeting families in the PRC in order to coerce and intimidate Canadians. That is not new. What is new here, what is at issue, is that the government did nothing about a person in Canada that was targeting me and my family and targeting other members of parliament. The government knew about this two years ago and they did nothing. They didn't tell me about this particular individual in Toronto, Mr. Wei Zhou, and they didn't expel this particular individual. In fact, they continued to accredit this individual as a diplomat, giving this individual special rights and immunities not afforded to Canadians, allowing this individual to continue their coercion and intimidation campaign here in Canada. And that is the heart of the issue here. The government needs to come clean about who knew what and when and what they did about it. Uh, this information was in the hands of the government two years ago. We need to know when the public safety minister first became aware of this. We need to know when the, fine, the foreign affairs minister first became aware of this. And we need to know when the PMO first became aware of this. And if it turns out <clears throat> that the ministers of the Crown were aware of this two years ago and did nothing about it, it suggests political calculations were at play. If ministers of the Crown were complete and their offices were completely unaware of this, this shows an appalling breakdown in leadership on part of the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister and the Prime Minister alone is responsible for the machinery of government. And for the Prime Minister not to know about this, not to be interested in this, I, I think indicates, uh, calls into question uh, the PMO's handle on the machinery of government. And so to finalize, uh, to finalize what I've been saying, uh, the issue here, what is new here, what's been revealed here in the last uh, several days, is the government did nothing about a person in Canada that was targeting me and my family and targeting other MPs. And that is an appalling lack of leadership and an appalling breakdown in the responsibility of the government of Canada. And the fact that this individual continues to remain in Canada is inexplicable. Do you believe that the Premier Minister doit expulser ce diplomate? C'est clair. Uh, le gouvernement a confirmé, uh, le, le, a confirmé la rapport, le rapport uh, dans le Globe and Mail. Ils ont confirmé que cet individu a, 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 part, a, a, participé, a participé dans une campagne contre les députés dans la Chambre des communes. Donc, c'est clair, le, gouvern, le gouvernement n'a pas le choix... De, de, de continuer de, de garder cet individu avec les, avec les, les droits d'un diplomate ici au Canada, c'est clair, le gouvernement doit prendre une décision d'exposer ce diplomate. I think the, the Prime Minister and the government ministers have to come clean about who knew what and when. seems that CSIS kept this information to themselves and that his office was not aware of this until it was reported Monday. Do you take issue with that? Well, we need to know who knew what when. 
the public safety minister on September 10th of 2019 issued a very detailed ministerial order to CSIS indicating that CSIS was to inform the minister of anything that might be of interest to the minister. Um, and so it's clear that uh, CSIS had a responsibility to inform the minister. Uh, the question is what did the public safety minister know and when? What did the PMO know and when? As Madame Telford said just recently, several weeks ago, in committee, uh, she indicated that um, nothing is kept from the Prime Minister when it comes to national security. Uh, she also indicated that uh, she, has, she gets all uh, documents concerning national security. Um, and so that's what we know. And so ministers of the Crown, the Foreign Minister, the public safety minister and the prime minister need to come clean about who knew what and when and what did they do about it. Have you spoken to your family in China? Have you spoken to your family in China? What is the nature have, of this? I, I, I have not spoken to my family uh, in China in years. I, like many, many Canadians in the, in, across the country whose family lives in authoritarian states, have had to face the difficult dilemma of how to protect uh, the family in these authoritarian states. And so out of an abundance of caution, years ago, when the PRC started violating the Sino-British agreement on Hong Kong and started turning one of the freest cities in the world into an authoritarian state, made the decision to cut off contact with my family. And so I don't know exactly uh, what is going on, and I've chosen to take that decision out of an abundance of caution. And my, uh, the position I find myself in is the same position that Canadians across the country have had to face for years. And that's why this government's inaction on this file is so inexplicable and appalling. A person in Canada is targeting me and my family with the approval of the government of Canada. This individual needs to be declared persona non grata immediately. What difference would it have made had you known this information at the time instead of, you know, two years later? I would have immediately called for this individual's removal from Canada so that this individual could not continue the coercive, clandestine and, uh, coercive and clandestine work that they've been conducting in Canada with immunity. It's astounding that the government hasn't taken action to expel this individual. This individual, let's be clear here, this individual is a diplomat in name only. This individual is a foreign intelligence officer whose job it is to coerce and subvert our democracy. And for the government of Canada to continue to credit this individual and allow this individual to remain in Canada is a complete abdication of responsibility. Mais c'est un calcul politique, c'est ce que vous avez dit, cette décision-là de ne pas l'expulser? C'est une question. Je pense qu'il y a euh, deux réponses. La première réponse est, est qu'il y a deux ans, les ministres de la Coran ont connu que le, cet individu est une menace contre notre Parlement. Et ils n'ont pas fait rien. Si le cas, c'est clair, c'est des calculs politiques qui a, qui a un facteur dans cette décision. L'autre cas, c'est que le, 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 les ministres de la Coran n'ont pas connu, le, le bureau n'ont pas connu, cette situation et ce euh, manque de, de leadership au part du Premier ministre, parce que le Premier ministre est responsable pour la machinerie du gouvernement. Thank OK, you. thank you, you very much.